Today, we're gonna to be looking at what I consider to be the best free and paid add-ons in 2023. This video is sponsored by Rococo. Now there are a ton of add-ons, so if I missed anything on this list you think should be included, let me know in the comments below, preferably politely, but I'm also willing to accept angry comments if that's all you know how to do. Starting out with the free add-ons. Dream Textures links the power of AI to Blender. You can use AI to fill in textures on your models, upscale, or even use your renders as an input. Blender Kit lets you import free objects from the web into your scene. It's like Asset Browser linked to an online free library. Bygen is an amazing tool by Curtis Holt, which has a bunch of crazy cool generative modeling presets, which you can apply to your models. I can't believe this one is free, but definitely check it out. The Asset Creation tool is amazing for productivity. It offers a bunch of time-saving options for UVs, origins, renaming, and more common tedious tasks. Recently added to Blender, this new Story Pencil add-on streamlines the flow of storyboarding in Grease Pencil. Machine Tools adds a lot of handy features with a robust Pi menu system, tools for modeling, UV layouts, and more. Botanic now has a free intro version before the paid version. This is the go-to add-on for adding nature assets to your scene, and they have some other great add-ons for cars, material, and water, which also now include intro versions. Ant Landscape will generate planets and landscapes based on noise types. They're not very detailed, but they're great for background elements. Extra Objects is included within Blender, and this adds a bunch of extra objects to the Add menu. There's one for Mesh and one for Curves, and I really like the Wall Creation add-on. Polygon has an easy add-on to import their textures and assets, some of which are played, but they also have free assets as well that can be imported through this add-on. Also packaged in Blender is Node Wrangler, which gives you shortcuts to make using nodes easier. For example, pressing Ctrl T on an image will give you a full image mapping setup. There's much more, which you can view in the documentation. Rigify allows you to position preset armatures onto your character and then automatically attach and create controls. Most people don't know this, but you can also generate your own rigs from pieces using this add-on, which I've done in some of my tutorials. Rococo provides an amazing add-on primarily intended to work with their motion capture library and live streaming assets, but it's honestly the best retargeting tool I've used in Blender as well. You just click your first armature, the second one, build bone list, and then it will connect the two when you click retarget. F2 is a free add-on included with Blender, and what this allows you to do is fill in an entire polygon face by clicking one corner point, and this just makes it much quicker to kind of fill in edge loops when doing topology. Bool tool makes it easy to quickly apply Boolean modifiers, which generally requires a lot of clicks, points, and targets. Easy Effects is a free option that will add more post-processing effects to the compositor for easy add-ons. However, this hasn't been updated since Blender 2.8. This add-on's called Nature Clicker, and it allows you to select a ground surface and select your objects and just start clicking to paint around on there so that you can build nature scenes quite quickly. I don't personally use this add-on, but I just love the look of it and how simple it is to use. Now, Kit Ops is an awesome free add-on. It also has paid asset packs that can go with it, but it makes it super easy to kit bash with objects, materials, and more. I've mentioned this on the channel before, but Blender OSM Open Street Map and Terrain for Blender makes it so that you can import street map data and automatically generate terrain and city maps based off of that data. Curtis Holt offers two awesome free add-ons, one being the Bygen and now Holt Tools as well, which offers a couple categories of operations separated into panels and some panels encompassing tools that can really kind of help with your workflow in Blender, including optimizing meshes and cleaning up the blend file and much more. Check out the documentation and his tutorials on his channel for more information. Now this add-on, the wiggle add-on, does exactly what you would expect it to do. It adds wiggle to your objects, but it gives you a lot of control with this full geometry node setup. And I just love how much time this can save on background assets or when you're trying to do things like a boat bobbing in the water, for example. Now, Simple Tabs is an awesome add-on. So if you're like me and you're on lists like this all the time, grabbing and installing add-ons, you may notice that your side panel gets incredibly cluttered. And what this does is make it so that you can combine some of those and put it into one panel and thus have a bit more organization over your interface here. So moving on to some of the paid add-ons. And I wanna offer full disclosure up front. Some of these are paid add-ons, are affiliate links, which I will label in the description so that you know, but I wouldn't recommend anything I wouldn't use myself. Quad Remesher is quite frankly the best option for remeshing in quad topology. It has quite a bit of features to guide the topology as well too. Brush Manager adds a panel to easily access custom brushes similar to the Asset Browser when sculpting. It comes with a bunch of other options to import, append, and more, making it a little bit more user-friendly than the native package. Graph Tools is a premium package of tools to help with cleaning graphs, adjusting, looping, delaying, and more. I think one of my favorite features is this option here to right-click and either insert keyframes for all 
or single on all selected objects, which is an incredible feature. Bone Dynamics Pro adds physics to your bones, and I've been using this extensively on my characters in my short film to add a little secondary motion without having to tweak every single little bone, so it's been a major time saver for me. UV Pack Master. This tool lives up to its name. It truly master packs your UVs while also adding a host of more advanced options such as tiling, UV stacking, and more. This one's a little bit more pricey, but it's well worth the price point. Animation Layers is an alternative to the NLA editor blending modes, which have a history of being a bit finicky. Animation Layers does the same, but it works just as you'd expect it to. For simulation, I have a couple recommendations, including RDB Labs, Chaos, and Flip Fluids. RDB Labs is an awesome simulation add-on, making it easier to produce some pretty wild results in Blender. Chaos makes it easy to add realistic explosions to your scene, and Flip Fluids gives some great fluid presets to speed up sims. The Nebula Generator, well, the title kind of explains it all. It generates nebulas, but with amazing results for both EV and cycles. Now this is the most asked about add-on in my videos, but no preview, I love it. It gives you a little preview thumbnail of what your texture is during the pipeline of shading. This is extremely useful for creating generative content and material building as it helps visualize what you're creating. Ducky's Real-Time Materials is a cool texture pack that adds real-time rendering materials under the add menu for quick access. He's constantly adding new materials as well and offering support. Hard Ops is the most popular tool in Blender, and this tool adds an incredible array of hard surface modeling tools, and it's become an industry standard in the game industry. Retapa Flow offers a series of tools for making Retapa... Retapology... Retapologizing. Much less tedious with tools that almost work like magic. Image scattering has two amazing features. One, it helps scatter your images. If you don't know what that means, it takes tileable textures and helps randomize it to prevent a repeatable pattern from occurring. It also has an option to use triplanar projection mapping, which allows you to project the texture onto an object from three different angles. This can bypass UV unwrapping and make texturing much simpler for beginners. Conform object. This conforms objects to the shape of a surface, and in my experiments, this yielded better results than the shrink wrap modifier. IEC lets you projection map multiple textures onto one UV easily. 3D Hairbrush beefs up the particle system, adding loads of professional features. Easy Smear is an add-on that makes it easier to smear objects for stylized animations. Animators know that grabbing things is hard when animating, and this add-on called Grab It makes it much less complicated process. True VFX has multiple products all geared around hyper-realistic explosions, magic effects, skies, and more. Check out their collection on Blender Market. They have a lot of VDB options, making them easy to import. Destructo streamlines the fracturing process while adding a few extra tools like this cool chipper effect. PBR Hook is a tool that lets you point to file paths and quickly import PBR setups, similar to Node Wrangler, but with a few extra advanced features for more control, specifically being able to point to specific folders. Collider Tools is a tool designed to help create quick collision objects around a selected mesh. This is ideal for translating content into game engines as an example. Particle Library is an awesome new incredible collection of common preset particle systems. In particular, I really like the birds preset. Pro Atmo generates realistic sky textures, and these will render faster and less noisier than HDRIs while yielding similarly results visually. I like the fact that it has cloud shadows, which can help add realism to a scene and break up the lighting. Volumetric Cloud Generating. Well, the name kind of explains what it is, but here's a few examples of how well it generates clouds. The Angle tool is just fun to play with. It makes adding angle geometry super easy and intuitive. If you haven't already seen Bad Normal's promo for his new add-on, Any Trees, check it out. It's an amazing promo and it's an awesome tool. I'm actually using this in my short film right now. It allows you to create trees from any shape or to generate them randomly. And it gives you a ton of control, gives you options for animation and more. Definitely recommend this add-on. Now, Clean Panels is a lot like the free add-on I mentioned earlier, Simple Panels. However, this one has a lot more features, allowing you to customize a lot more. It has pie menus, toggleable filters, and gives you a ton of control within the preferences to really organize your interface. As usual, there are tons of extra add-ons, so I'd be curious to hear what some of your favorites are, what you think I missed. Let me know in the comments below. Rococo provided me a full set of their suit with facial motion capture, hand capture, and body capture. Now Rococo uses a magnetic based system to detect its motion and it works over Wi-Fi, which is awesome because what this means is that anywhere with a laptop, computer, or Wi-Fi connection, you can record high quality motion capture data without the need of a multi-million dollar studio. 
If you're familiar with Ian Hubert's and his Blender channel, he uses it in his videos to help motion capture and apply that data to some of his humanoid characters. I've actually been using this on some of my VR work for prototyping and recording my hands to be in the foreground. Rococo offers incredibly high quality studio level motion capture data at a much more affordable price than the competition. Now, if you're not interested in buying an entire motion capture setup, you can actually check out their library, which has affordable options to download a ton of animations that you can use in your games, animations, visual effects, and more. Of course, I'll link to everything below so you can check it out and let me know what you think in the comments below.